Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. I'm currently here at Lakemba for Ramadan nights. I've been here once in 2019 and also here last year as well. This is a month long cultural event that happens from dusk to 3 a.m. every night. People can break their fast here or it's an amazing opportunity to experience new foods like the camel burger and experience the rich cultures and traditions of Ramadan. And tonight, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the first thing that we're having for tonight to kickstart tonight off is Mertaba. I apologize if I've mispronounced it. I practiced it like five times before I started recording. This is the first time I've had it. How it was explained to me was it's like roti and then inside there is your choice of filling. So they started making this with like a circle of dough. They pressed on it and then they started flipping it in a circular motion until it was super thin and translucent. And then they put it on a grill. And this is where they add your fillings, which had egg, onions, spring onions. And then they folded it into a little parcel of deliciousness and pressed onto it a little bit as well. They cooked this with butter and I could kind of smell it as they were making it. And then at the end, they added some additional onions, some lime. And yeah, there we have it. This cost $15 and I waited 20 minutes for this. <laughs> They've sprinkled in some spices at the very end as well. It's like a roti with egg and chicken and onions and spring onions on the inside. And I would highly recommend eating this with lime as well. I love the acidity. Item one ticked off the list. Let's go find something else. So ever since I tried a camel burger for the first time in 2019, every single time I come to um, Ramadan nights here in Lakemba, I always get a camel burger and tonight will be no different. We will absolutely be getting a camel burger before the end of tonight. This came to $15, $16 if you pay card. So it was $16 for me. Inflation is real. I remember when I first came in 2019, it was like closer to $10. I don't have a tripod with me today, so I'm working with whatever I have. You are currently sitting on a layer, a tray of bread. You've got tomatoes, you've got your burger sauce, you've got lettuce, you've got cheese. The bun is like your typical sesame bun. The sesame bun is extremely soft. And the more I talk, the more it's disintegrating in my hands. And the camel patty, it tastes very, very similar to lean beef. So I've momentarily departed from the streets and entered into a restaurant. And I've got myself a chicken kebab with Afghan bread. This came to $13 and when I was ordering this, they were like, do you want two? It's kind of better value, but I'm like, I'm eating so much and I've eaten so much. I just want a little bit to try. So there is the chicken, there is the bread. They asked if I wanted to see how the bread was made. I was like, absolutely, I will go and see how it's made. They've got this dough and they press it flat and then they, they put it on the side of a an oven. Can I call it that? And it doesn't even stick there for too long and then they take it out. It's got like nice bubble chars on it as well. This chicken is really well seasoned. And this bread it reminds me a little bit of like a naan bread, except it's not as oily and it's a bit drier. It's a very good vehicle to transport food through. Guys, I didn't make it to yummy yummy kanafe this time round. But if you're here, you absolutely have to go and get yourself something there. I had it last year for the first time and it was absolutely delicious. So creamy, so indulgent. It was so stringy. I think that pretty much concludes my night here. This is the first day of Ramadan nights in Lakemba and there aren't as many people as when I came here last year. I think because this is like the first of 31 days, Next week, this will be like a lot more crowded. If you do come, let me know what stores are your favorite so I know for next year. I am currently at 
Paddington. I found a park, but this is only for one piece. I'm going to have to come back in an hour and then like move the car and try and park somewhere where I can park for longer. I was here for about 15 minutes just driving around trying to find a park. We're heading to a pop-up store today. It's actually happening over the weekend. I'm just looking down at the flyer. And yeah. And then I'm heading to dinner with my friends. So... I just went into this pop-up sale and there's a lot of people. I went in for about five minutes and already came out. It's a pretty big haul with racks of clothing and then there's a lot of people here as well. In fact, the line outside grew progressively longer. It's here for the rest of the weekend. I think by the time my vlog goes up, this would be over anyway. But if you were curious about what it would look like, I mean, now you know. We are heading to dinner at a place called... What is this place called again? Civico 47. I found another park. It seems like there's no time limit on it. So that's very, very exciting. I don't have to keep coming back and moving the car. All the houses in Paddington are so cute. Guys, this restaurant, it's great for like birthdays or anniversaries or that special day. Just pause here if you want to see the menu. And these are some of the drinks. So we ordered the scallop crudo. It was super fresh and delicious. And also the parmesan biscotti. Also something that I think you should try. But believe it or not, one of the highlights for me is this homemade bread. It looks unassuming, but it was soft and squishy and there was something about it. I just wanted another one. And then for the mains, we had their fish. We had their Angus beef, dry aged duck, and also their red broiled prawn pasta. This pasta was also a highlight for me. And the duck, oh my goodness, you have to try that too. I'll put all the details of everything I ordered in my description, but this was an amazing dining experience. I woke up today and decided I am gonna take myself out to brunch. And the place that we're headed to is a place that I've been meaning to go for the longest time. I don't know if you can tell by my surroundings, but we're currently at Surrey Hills and this place does delicious pancakes. How do I know that it's delicious? I've never been, but I've read so many articles and so many posts about how great it is. These pancakes are actually pretty famous. I've just arrived at Bill's here in Sarnia's and I have ordered their ricotta hotcakes with banana. In addition to the ricotta hotcakes, I also got a soy cap. <laughs> it's Singolo coffee. I've talked about them before. Their coffee never disappoints. So the ricotta heart cakes, there's three. It comes with some bananas and it also comes with honeycomb butter. So you can see bits of honeycomb within the butter. It's super airy. First thoughts, it looks a little bit like the grand pancakes that I had way back. So it's like a very, it's, it's very much like a souffle pancake. Anyway, first bite. I've got a bit of the honeycomb butter, I've added some maple syrup and a tiny bit of banana. It's super light. It's kind of like biting into a cloud, but then there's that sweetness as well from the maple syrup and also from the honeycomb. I'm going to try and taste the butter as is, just to see what that's like. That's actually really good. I'm trying to think what it's like. It's like creamy. A little bit savory from the butter and then sweet from the honeycomb, but not overwhelmingly sweet. So these pancakes are very light and very, very airy. And if you leave it for too long, they start to deflate a little bit. And if you look closely, you can see bits of ricotta in these pancakes. I do like the honeycomb butter though. I think that it's like a combo of savory and sweet. And I like that. So today is one of those days where I don't have any filming scheduled for during the day, but I do have an event that I need to go to at night. And so I try my best to not eat out for every single meal. And so because tonight I have an event, I try to make sure that I eat at home for lunch. 
So this event, it's actually a pretty cool event. It's a it's an event organized by the Council General of Japan and it's a Japanese sake seminar. So we're actually going to the Council General's official residence. To be honest, I really don't know what to expect for this event, but I'm excited. And depending on how much filming I'll be able to get done, I'll show you like everything that's there. Anyway, today for lunch, I'm thinking I'll just do like a super simple vermicelli, finish all the vegetables in my fridge and then call it a meal. Lunch is done. We have noodles and dumplings. So guys, this was the sake seminar that I was talking about. It was interactive in the sense that we got to taste it as we were learning about it. And then afterwards, we got to try seven different types of sake. Now, I didn't try all of them, but of the ones that I did try, the yuzu one was my favorite. Then again, I'm partial to anything yuzu. Oh my goodness, this is really, really good. But one of the most exciting part of the night, this food pairing. Everything here was delicious. I always forget to end the vlog in the moment, so this is my way of concluding it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week, check them out if you have time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Apparently, according to my analytics, a lot of you guys who are watching these videos aren't yet subscribed. So it would really help me out if you do that and if you like this video as well. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. Okay, I'm sorry you guys are on a little bit of an angle, but I've got myself one of those twirly chips because I couldn't resist. I saw it last year as well, but I didn't get it. And this time I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I thought this would be crispy. Interesting.